Hi everyone. How are you? I hope you are healthy and fit in, fit in these times. My name is Rishikesh and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel once again. This is my student dormitory. I live in Ravensburg and today I'm going to Weingarten. Uh, my university is in Weingarten and today I'm going to give you a little tour about my university. I have got many suggestions from many people, especially my classmates saying I should make a video on university because whenever a uh, student gets admission here uh there is no there is no video on youtube uh, on youtube about the university so i thought i'll make it now so so let's go we'll see you in wine garden I am at the main building of the university now. This is also called as Edge Building. Uh, if you can see on the university campus map, uh, I am here. This is Edge Building. And uh, when you look for university on social media or uh, when you search for university uh, on university website as well, you just find the university's main building. But there are other various buildings as well which are used for various purposes. In this video, we are going to visit each building and we'll see, we'll show you how, how the building looks. Uh, you can also you can also find this map in campus everywhere so it will not be uh, difficult for you to locate where you are in the university campus Edge building is mainly important for international students. Many of the classes takes place here only and there are uh, labs for master students such as for electrical engineering and embedded systems. Labs are uh, labs takes place here in the edge building. Many of the professors sits here and you will also find uh, exam department is also located in the edge building. There are many other teams uh, for, for, uh, in the university such as formula student team which has also which also has a workshop in edge building. Right now I am standing outside of the classroom. So this is the first time I am entering in a classroom and I have not, it's been a one year and I have not even sat a single lecture uh, physically in the classroom. So everything is going on online. So let's see how does it look from inside. Let me take some feel of sitting in a classroom. It's been a quite long uh, since I have spent, I have, I have sat in a classroom last time. I think exams must be taking place here, so that's why they have arranged the seats um, at some distance. Now we'll see other buildings. We just came from Edge Building. This road goes straight to the Edge Building and here uh, other buildings such as A, B, C, D are located.
we are at the B building right now. This is a technology management department and there are some German courses uh, which takes place here. There are some classrooms and professors as well. Professor sits here, they, they have their offices here and also uh, activities such as business administration or PhD presentations takes place here. This is the L building. Inside it, Industrial Robotics Lab is located and students can learn here to program actual industrial robots. Inside the K building, there is Institute for Artificial Intelligence. This is where students learn programming autonomous robots and machine learning. T building is for media design, film and photo studio. After having a lot of lectures, when you get tired, you come here. This is Mensa. This is where you have some relaxing time, uh, get some snacks or grab, grab, uh, grab some lunch. Or you can also study in this garden. You can sit around, you can study or you can play some sports as, sport as well. University also has a place called Sports Centre. In English, it is Sports Centre, where students can play indoor and outdoor games. In indoor games, we have gym, swimming pool, badminton court, etc. And in outdoor games, we have a big playground. Unfortunately, everything has been closed for so long due to Corona. And that's why I can't even show you from inside. Next to the Mensa Park, P building is there. Our international office and career service is located in this building. Everything related to our international application, admission and enrollment takes place here. Also, career service assists in applying for internships and places. Just in front of the international office, there is student dormitory. I even have made a separate video on student dormitories in Ramesburg and Weingarten. You can check that out. Student life is incomplete without library. And this beautiful building is our university library. To go inside, it requires to have a negative corona test and right now I don't have that. When we had a long day, we want to relax for some time, chill out with our friends, then this is the place we come to. This place has a beautiful architecture and it is called as Weingarten Basilica. It's a church basically. So it, is, it is at some altitude and you get to see a nice view of the city and enjoy the sunset. On a sunny day, you find many people here having a nice time. Alright, so that was all about our university. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do share with your friends, family who are planning to come here or who has got admission into this university.
Since you have watched this video till now, I would like to tell you that I have created a Discord server where I am uh, where I am planning to arrange some Q&A sessions for you guys to resolve your doubts. Uh, if you are if if you are uh, planning to come to Germany, also I have created a WhatsApp group. You might want to jo join that. So last but not the least, I would like to thank my friend Chetan for uh, for the amazing shot that you saw in this video and shooting shooting this video. Also, I would like to thank my friend um, Nayan for, from RW International Academy. He helped us to shoot the video inside the university as university was closed because of Corona. So Chetan, would you like to tell them that what they have to do now? Yeah. Uh, okay, guys, then don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. What do you see that now? So that was all for today. And I will see you once again. Or should I say, Auf Wiedersehen. Bye.